Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. In our Farm Basics today, we're going to talk about terraces, what they are, and why farmers put them in their fields. So, like right now, for example, Darren and I are standing on some slope here. I'm standing a little bit downhill from Darren, but it's not a lot of slope here. When we get into steeper slopes, that's where farmers are using these terraces, and basically this is an age-old practice where people put in blocks. Basically, they build up soil, so water will not wash their soil all the way down the hill. It'll only wash it part of the way down there. Well, it's kind of like a dam, Brian. <laughs> you know, you're, you're just yep. going to try and slow things down as it's moving downhill. And you can obviously put in more terraces, Brian. You don't have to wait till halfway down the hill to put one in. You can put in a system of several terraces on the way down the hill. The important thing, though, as farmers are putting in terraces, it's not just, well, we'll just pile up dirt, you know, whatever, which way it works. No. They have to be very careful about the level of that soil so they don't have a blowout, so they don't have water running around one edge and tearing into the side of the hill that way. They have to be real strategic when they're placing these terraces in. The other thing that farmers are doing now compared to what they did 20 or 30 years ago is now they're doing drainage tile underneath the soil in addition to doing terraces to help more of that water soak down through the soil rather than running off the top. One question that a lot of non-farmers have about terraces is, where does this dirt come from that you're building the terrace with? There are different styles of terraces. For example, on some of our land, we have what's called push-up terraces, where you farm on the top side, but you do not farm on the bottom side of that slope. You have some of those uh, even on some of your ground, don't you, Darren? Yeah, and they'll basically just take the soil, push it up to make that terrace, and yeah, you're going to have a, a nice terrace there, but right below it, You've robbed a lot of the good topsoil and you may not have as good well, a crop not necessarily. just underneath it. Not necessarily, because what some people will do if they're going to go to this work is they'll pull the topsoil off, then they'll push the subsoil clay up to make that terrace, then they'll put the topsoil back. That's the proper way to do it. Now there are some terraces that were done on our farm back oh, probably 70 years ago now, where it wasn't push-up terraces. It was really not that steep a slope. So there was just a little bit of ridge there. And basically there's another thing that goes along with terraces. It's called farming on the contour. That means farming around the hill instead of up and down the hill. And when you're going to put terraces in, whether it's push-up or just regular terraces like some that we have on our farm, where it's not so steep, either way, you're going to be farming around these hills. It is a little bit more work. It takes more time. It's one of the things I give Darren a hard time about. It takes us twice as long to farm his ground than anything else. But you do this practice of putting terraces in and farming around the contour, and you are able to save soil. Well, and that's the big thing, because you look back uh, 20, 30, 40 years ago and the practices that farmers had to do to control weeds and to manage residue and these types of things with the equipment they had uh, and the herbicides that they had and these kind of things, they pretty much had to do some tillage in a lot of situations where they otherwise would choose not to. Today's farming practices, there's a lot less tillage going on in these more highly erodible areas. Farmers are implementing no-till or strip-till techniques to preserve that soil, hold it in place. But the other side of that is, if they do less tillage, farmers can increase the organic matter in their soils, which will help soak in more water on the top of the hill and coming down the sides of the hill, and they have a lot less erosion than we had just a few decades ago. Well, once again, these terraces are an important thing on farms from decades ago, and even today on the modern farm, even in no-till and strip-till practices, adding terraces to a field that has a lot of slope can really help. Well, one other thing that can really help improve your field production is controlling our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to control this tough weed later in the show.